Before you set out on a ride, it is always advisable to thoroughly check your motorcycle. There are several parts and components you should inspect. The electricals, controls, tires, chain and oil amongst others. Follow these simple steps to inspect and keep your motorcycle ride ready. Let's begin by checking the ignition and kill switch. These are key to a smooth start to any ride. Insert the key into the ignition and check the RPM meter. Turn the key to switch on the motorcycle and make sure it is working properly. Now, turn on the kill switch to start the motorcycle. Check if it's moving smoothly. Keep the motorcycle running to check for idling stability. The electric start and kill switch operations should be smooth and the motorcycle should start without any snag. Now let's check the rear view mirrors. Inspect the rear view mirrors on both sides for the right alignment. If there is any free play, remove the rubber cap and adjust the nuts with a 14mm open end spanner available in your motorcycle toolkit. Next, let's inspect the accelerator and clutch operation. Check the accelerator free play. It should be between 2 to 3 mm. Also, the throttle cable routing should be fixed in its housing. Please refer to the throttle cable adjustment video tutorial for detailed instructions. Next, check the clutch free play. It should be between 10 to 12 mm. Also, the cable routing should be fixed in its housing. Please refer to the clutch cable adjustment video tutorial for detailed instructions. Accelerator and clutch operation are important for a smooth ride and you should check them at regular intervals. Now, let's check the cable strap for its position and fixture. Go through all the straps on the handlebar and the fork and ensure the respective cables are firmly placed in their positions. Now, let's take a look at the electricals, namely the switch modules on both sides, the headlamp, tail lamp, trafficator bulbs and the horn. First, turn on the ignition switch and check if the headlamp is functioning properly. Also check for high beam and low beam light directions. Next, press the rear brake. Check if the tail lamp is glowing as you do it. Turn on the indicator switch on the left side and check if the indicator bulbs on the front and rear are working. Repeat the action for the right side as well. Press the horn button to check if it's working fine. Next up, let's take a look at the instrument cluster and understand what the different symbols mean. Inspect all the eye functions. Moving on, let's inspect the front suspension. Remove the motorcycle from the stand. Press the front brake and check for the front fork action. They should operate smoothly, delivering an easy movement of the handlebar. Now, let's check for the smooth movement of the front wheel. When you rotate the wheel, it should cover one-fourth of the tire rotation with respect to the air-filling mouth area. Also check the tire air pressure of the front wheel. It should be 32 PSI. Check if the tire bead aligns with the alloy wheel 
to ensure there is no air leakage from the tire. Also check the tire tread condition. Now let's take a look at the front and rear brakes. Remove the lock pin from the front brake caliper. Remove the nuts and gently pull out the reaction bracket. Inspect the brake pad condition. The thickness should be at least 2 to 3 mm, with the treads clearly visible. If looks worn out, it is recommended to visit a Royal Enfield authorized service center near you to replace it. Repeat the same action for the rear brake as well. Now, check the brake fluid level for the front wheel. It should be between minimum and maximum level. Always use DOT4 grade brake fluid. In the same way, check the brake fluid level for the rear wheel. It should be between minimum and maximum level. Always use DOT4 grade brake fluid. Next, let's check the front brake operation. Put the motorcycle on the center stand and rotate the front wheel. Press the brake lever on the handlebar. The wheel should immediately come to a halt. Repeat the same process for rear brake. While the motorcycle is on the center stand, rotate the rear wheel and press the brake lever at the right foot. The wheel should immediately come to a halt. It's time to inspect the spark plug. Remove the suppressor from the spark plug. Remove the spark plug with the help of a spark plug remover tool and the 12mm spanner. Use a dry and soft cloth to remove any carbon deposit from the spark plug. Clean the cylinder head area before refitting the spark plug. Refer to the spark plug inspection and removal video tutorial for the detailed process. Now, let's inspect the fuse. Open the right hand side panel lock with the key. Ensure that the fuse box has all the fuses in operation as well as the spare ones. Refer to the fuse inspection and replacement video tutorial for more information. Next, let's check the battery. If it is not in order, the motorcycle may not even start. Here is how to inspect it. Open the battery panel covers with the motorcycle key and check if the battery terminal is firmly fitted in its place. Apply some petroleum jelly on terminals to prevent carbon deposition. 
cover both the terminal clamps and the rubber boot, black on negative and red on positive. Make sure that the battery terminals are covered properly. Fix the battery to its place, fasten it with the rubber strap, reconnect the cables and close the panel cover. Next, let's check the rear suspension. Inspect for any oil leakage at the rear suspension. Also check the shocker notch position. It should be firmly placed. Now, let's check the rear wheel. Check for free movement of the rear wheel. When you rotate the wheel, it should cover one-fourth of the tire rotation with respect to air filling mouth area. Check the rear tire air pressure. It should be 32 psi for solo rider and 36 psi when riding with a pillion. Also, the tire bead should align with the alloy wheel to ensure there is no air leakage from the tire. Check the tire tread condition as well. Moving on, let's inspect the chain. It is a very important part that should always be clean and lubricated. First, inspect the free play of the drive chain. It should be between 25 to 30 mm. Inspect the chain adjuster position and alignment on both sides of the swing arm. Refer to the chain play adjustment video tutorial to achieve the right free play. Follow this up with an application of Royal Enfield Chain Cleanser and Royal Enfield Chain Lubricant. The chain should be cleaned and lubricated for every 1000 km. The next component to check is the air filter. It is key to optimum performance of your motorcycle. Open the left hand side panel. Remove the air filter housing by loosening the three screws with a screwdriver. Check the air filter for any dust accumulation. Clean it with a dry cotton cloth. In case the air filter is old, deformed or the dust can't be cleaned, it is recommended to replace it with a genuine Royal Enfield air filter. Next, let's inspect the engine oil level. Ensure the motorcycle is on the center stand. Switch on the engine and gently raise the RPM for 10 seconds. Leave the motorcycle in idling condition for 15 seconds. Switch off the engine and wait for 2 minutes till the oil settles down. Engine oil level should be at maximum level. If the oil level is not at the maximum mark, top it up with genuine Royal Enfield engine oil. Repeat the steps again to check if the oil level is now at the right mark. Always use genuine Royal Enfield engine oil. Refer to the oil level inspection video tutorial for a detailed process. Now, check the center stand and side stand springs. They should move smoothly. Apply lubrication if there is any issue with their operation.
your motorcycle comes with a toolkit that contains all essential tools you will need to perform all maintenance activities. Make sure it is always stored safely with all the tools in it. You should always carry a first aid kit in your motorcycle. Additionally, when going on a long drive, it is advisable to carry some spare parts with you. Tire tube, spark plug, universal jack that comes in handy in case of a puncture, a dry wash kit, bungee cables to mount luggage, Royal Enfield travel bag, your motorcycle is now prepped for that long ride. Gear up and set off to make memories for a lifetime. Keep riding.